The fourth question, should Central Asian states do more to bring about stability in Afghanistan? Should their role increase after the alliance's withdrawal? I, I sort of addressed this in the last question, but let me make another couple of points. The Central Asian countries are concerned that uh, when 2014, 2014 arrives and the alliance has a much smaller and different presence in Afghanistan, that they will be left with uh, a problem uh, or a growing problem of instability and terrorism and extremism and drugs. Uh, so it's very important that the alliance is clear with them, uh, including me, uh, that we will have a presence beyond the end of the combat mission, that we are committed for the long term to Afghanistan's stability and committed not just rhetorically or politically, we will have people on the ground doing work to help the Afghans stabilize their own country. But we will also work with the Central Asian countries so that they can protect themselves better, uh, fight against and defend against uh, these many threats. So we're going to offer them more consultation, more exercises, more joint training to, uh, to help them beef up their own capacity to handle these problems. And in doing that, we want to create a situation where the Central Asian countries can engage productively with Afghanistan. And they are trying to do that, to help Afghanistan find its own feet. We don't want to return to a situation that we had in the past, where for reasons of insecurity, uh, individual nations of the region took individual approaches to Afghanistan, which didn't do anybody in the end any good.